2021. How's it going, guys? We're going to do a walk in the park. So if you need to cut the grass, you seem to get cut for deep. That's interesting. It's falling behind. <laughs> What's the Xbox say? They've lost the hard point. <laughs> That's only on hard point. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just joking. It's We've got to have a little bit of fun. You know what I mean? What are we going to talk about today, guys? Well, there's lots to talk about. It's always... It would be nice to see some sunshine here. We're supposed to be coming here in a day or two, I think. By this weekend, it's supposed to be back up in the 80s. That would be good swimming weather. going to talk about today. I think EE Arts, EE Arts uh, did a video this morning. You guys get a chance to check it out. Not affiliated with any other YouTube. Like I say, station whatsoever, but I try to get good information out. And they really explain things, like I say, pretty good. And uh, most everything they say is pretty much on the point most of the time. I mean, None of us are all perfect on anything, but uh, they get pretty close. Oh, wow. And then another one, also check out check out a uh, Gina Marie uh, YouTube. Check hers out too. She did one on uh, people being happy, and she's talking about well, people don't like her happy or being happy or whatever interesting because you know there are a lot of groups out there that feed off negativity and bad energy and stuff. now I'm not one of these people that believe that if you're around somebody that is negative it's gonna pull your energy down I don't believe that because I believe that you have the ability if you if you yourself your energy comes within yourself okay now you can shield yourself in a way to where those people, but a person being negative, to me, it, it just, I don't believe that. I believe you can, you know, you can try to help people, you can talk to people, but I don't believe it's gonna pull you down. Now, I know the witchcraft groups, they, they believe in a different deal. They believe that that pulls your energy down, but they're the ones usually pulling the energies. They're usually the ones taking the stuff. And that's what we're going to talk about today. And like I say, it's very important to go to EE e. Arts and look at their deal about... Who is that now? Go ahead, Dylan. Who's Jesus? What do they say in the Jewish you thing? You just did. You just did. You didn't. Yes or what? Yes or what? Yes or what? Yes or what? Yes. And uh, you talk about that for a bit. You know, he talks about him being kind of like a yogi. Um, we're going to talk about a lot of this. Here. But the problem I have, the only thing I have a problem with E.E. Arts deal is they talk about it would be good if all these countries and different places could get along. Yes. And put their, like they said, put their swords down and stuff and quit fighting. That would be a good thing. Yes, it would. The problem of it is, there's so many fractions and groups here that believe that they're going to extend, like what they talk about is extension. Uh, basically, if they do the bad thing, they think that they're promised that they're going to get more. And see, that's where I do have a little disagreement with them on that, because these groups are the way they are. And you do have to stand. I mean, there's been light workers that have walked away because they've been just harassed by these. I remember a few years back reading some stuff about light workers, and some just left and walked away from it. Healers, everything. But to be a true healer, to be a true light worker, star seed, whatever you want to call 
You can't do that. I mean, you can't let them bring you down in that sense. But getting on with it, they do about a 40 minute uh, video that everybody should watch on that. Explaining how all the different, between the theology of how people look at different things, they always do an excellent job. Excellent job on all this. But, uh, some of these groups use, like, the only problem I have, that I have with them is when they talk about unity, is because some of these groups prey on the weak like that, thinking that they can pull them in and then use their energy. And they do. And that's not a good thing. I mean, if they get in a circle and you got somebody that's got a high frequency and they're cycling that energy in that circle they can pull their energy ERs needs to go and talk a little bit about that too because it's true and they can do stuff like that so but there's something that they don't understand to get in the ERs is very correct about but you can never get a higher frequency by going the bad way. You have to be good. You have to be basically going towards that light. And uh, even like that Gina Marie, she was talking about being happy. And what's wrong with her being happy? Well, they don't want people happy. They want people miserable. They want people, because that's what they, that's how they get their power. That's how they get, you know, it, it actually makes them mad when people are happy. And it just, oh God, it irritates them really bad. And stuff like that. But, uh, unreal. And, uh, it's just uh, amazing. Some of this, that you'll, you know, that the stuff that they try to do, it's not good. Because they don't understand. Now, I will say one thing. One thing that they don't understand. Something the ERs have to talk about either. You know, there's different dimensions. And you know, when you talk about biblical part, about talking about hell, there is a place like hell, but not like what they think. And I'll talk about that later in another video, because I could talk probably for 20 to 40 minutes on just that. But they have no idea where the path they're taking. But getting back to EE arts, they talk about, you know, reincarnation. They talk about, and we're going to talk about that for a second. Now, they talk about how people have lived many lives over and over again. Now, he and her go into detail today about their specialties, okay? Like, she can actually see more people that have died and stuff. He goes a different way with some of it. So, but if they were here, if they were here in Kansas City talking about it, they'd have a heart attack because they don't like that. They don't want people knowing the truth. They, everything they talk about is correct. I mean, like he said, he's been doing it for over 30 years for better. So, uh, and then he even goes into d to detail about how he even was in one time with, uh, I think he said Wicca, you know, which is witchcraft, the other stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you have to learn from all the different things, uh, some of this, the different aspects to know which is good, which is evil. And that's the whole case of all that. But uh, the only thing, like I say, I disagree with them on is the unity part, because I just don't believe that a person, if they're happy, if they got goals in mind, they don't have to be in a group, for one thing. The groups here are very controlling. It don't matter if it's a church going. It don't matter if it's witchcraft. It don't matter if it's oneness. It don't matter. <laughs> and there's all different ones here that do bad different things. I can tell you that, for sure. And I love it.
I mean, I seen some things from, uh, I've been to oneness group. I've been, I've been, I went to, like I say, I took a tarot card class and I did go to some witchcraft deals, see what that was about. Like I say, I was going through a divorce at the time. I was actually looking to see if I could find another decent gal, which I couldn't find nothing decent or any of that. So, uh, but the, anyway, I'm not concerned about that. But uh, the thing of it is, the stuff that you learn as you go through all this. Now, Unity's group actually was using at their place, some of them was teaching women how to throw this energy out in full energy, actually from men, not yet. See, there's a problem with all this. They all want to use it for bad things, and there's no good things in all this. <laughs> And uh, was in oneness. I thought oneness would be a good deal to be. But the problem with oneness, they're all mixed together. They're mixed with the Qigong bunch. They're mixed with the, and they all want bad things. They want to manipulate and control. So, what would be good? I'd like to hear the solution from EE e. Arts about these control groups, how that's going to be. It sure ain't putting down your sword or putting down a deal on that, my friend, and that. Because these they just use your energy. And that's what they want to do. They make them stronger. So it becomes a big problem. And there is problematic, no doubt, in all of it. Now, the oneness is a pretty good place to go to for a while they actually had a little dog and a cat and one dog we still remember its name what was it Dylan buddy buddy that's right <laughs> don't forget that at all we won't forget about all that so but the one this group was more of an elite. And they were at at least from it. And they were doing other things too. And uh, what I mean by that is we'll talk about Tantra real quick. And uh, that's using this energy, manipulating this energy, and uh, sexual wise with it. You know, I'll just go that far with it. I won't go in real big detail. But the place that they had where they met up at was a pretty fancy house. But they were supposed to, these old couple were supposed to kind of like live in there. But I don't think they were living there. Because there was hardly never no food or nothing there. I think it was being used probably more for kind of more of a, a high class, kind of like massage parlor house. For more of the elite. Now, you know, there's things all over. And I mean, but the thing of it is, but the problem of it was they were mixed. Like I say, the other ones were mixed with the witchcraft. And the other ones, we got voodoo, and we got two groups. We got two groups of neo Nazi witchcraft groups here, huge groups here. Yep, in Kansas City. And we got, I mean, so many different things. I mean, we got, I mean, and that's the problem. It was down there a couple years back, down there, Isle of Capri. There's a lot of voodoo bunches that are down there. And one night there's a couple of voodoo gals down there. And, and anyway, this other witchcraft gal had called her something and said, talking about the witchcraft, said she was doing witchcraft. And anyway, oh my God, they almost got in a fist fight with this other gal because. So I don't do witchcraft, I do voodoo is what I do. And that's what old Kansas City, I mean, you know, let's lay it on the line and tell it how it is. Because I lay it on the line. So, uh, but the thing of this is, that's the problem. So you can't just let, I mean, they need to understand 
that you have to be if you if you want to be able to ascend and get your energy higher you can't run to a group and expect them to help you like that i mean you're just not going to do it most of them are, if you got a high energy it's liable even to pull your energy <clears throat> that's why i don't belong to any group now i know that gina marie today was talking and she goes more towards you know the bible side i believe is way when i've heard her talk about different things but see i don't see any of you know it's not a question of how you believe in that sense it's about if they're imposing their stuff on you which is wrong okay and uh not good because that's what you know i mean it's like you know if you think about let's let's go back to gene roddenberry let's go to star trek real quick you know even all the all the knowledge and all the information all the technology they had advanced to one thing they allowed their people to practice any kind of religion any kind of th way they wanted to as long as it really didn't hurt nobody or or or, or push their influences on anybody why would that be so hard i mean think about that then er to be right then they then there could be peace because if nobody was pushing the other inner basically any of the other religions or anything how they believe and they just practice them i mean take what, what was it the the vulcans now they supposedly had no kind of like emotions but spock in time developed emotions now the thing of it was they knew that fighting wasn't the answer they wanted to base their lifestyle on science and meditation and stuff like that but here you go again but then there was other groups out there that were better and they still had to have their starships to fight the bad guys because some of those races hadn't what they hadn't got there yet. evolved they haven't evolved that's right that's correct and see that's where all this becomes a big big problem on all that so you know you got too many cult groups here like i say again we got witchcraft we got voodoo we got unity we got all the different different groups here don't matter if it's church groups don't matter if it's witchcraft groups doesn't matter you know and here you go again but the thing of it is they're right about one thing you cannot get to those higher levels if you are trying to do that basically and pull people there and do the other things now i've had to contend with all of them and i'll just go back well go back several years when we were going to the oneness now i had always been i'll just say psychic but i never really used it and i never did really use it because i used it to my advantage if i had a bad feeling or something and if I, this or that or whatever, I would know, okay? I mean, one night we were out here and I knew that there was somebody out basically waiting to go. There's four guys in a car. We went to this uh, salad bar place out here in Independence. And uh, I just knew that there was, a, there was four guys. That, and we started out the door and there was four guys actually sitting down the door. I went back in and asked the manager, I said, you guys got security around here? He said, no. He said, Why? I said, well, there's four guys that parked up real close by one side of our passenger door. We couldn't even get in. And I said, I said, it doesn't look good. He said, well, I'll get some guys and I'll get the cook and a couple other guys and we'll go out there with you. And we all went out through that front door. When we did, guess what? All those guys jumped out of the car. And then and Mary said, what do you guys do? Oh, we're getting ready to leave. And they just got there and they getting ready to leave? Okay, going back to the, almost today, the last few years. The thing of this is, is this energy. Everybody, like I say, the groups want to have been taught to use it for bad, to try to pull other people in. 
So you have to, they got to understand that they're never going to extend like E Arts talk about all the way. I mean, and it depends on the lineage of your DNA too. That also, I mean, I think we talked about this a long time back and uh, I had three axle places on my arm appear uh, spots that actually look like uh, between like Deneb, Vega, and Altair. One, one morning we're standing out and we're waiting for the school bus. And uh, I was just standing out there and I had my, uh, what am I looking to say, tank top on my son. He looked over and said, look, that looks like those stars up there. This is like those stars. So we had to look at that. Yeah, because it was a sign. And uh, I think, actually, I'm probably a mix between an Altarian and something a lot older than that. Probably where they came from. And when we talk about reincarnation many times, like the ER talks about, I mean, sometimes I don't have to get together a lot to try to talk to this. Because I'd like to I'd like to hear some more about some of this stuff. But um, I uh, like I say, it's it's very interesting on the lineage of where listen. The bullfrog? He's down there. Or is he it? Are you know weed? You hear it? Mm-hmm. It's been a while. Pretty wild. When I do remote viewing and I look out there into the universe, I've seen some of the galaxies, but I see them from the opposite way like coming in towards Earth. I don't see it. And I've had a couple, like I say, like dreams, we'll just call them dreams. And actually I was on a light ship, actually coming in here with a group of people that help. And uh, one of my dreams, another dream I had, not dream more of a vision was that I was standing over there actually in on a pyramid and you got to remember something this pyramid that I seen was half had a half flat top well I, I knew about pyramids but I didn't know about that I did I did a video on that went back to that but actually I was like an ambassador and I was standing there actually with a princess talking to thousands of people at that time period so I don't know maybe it's just a dream maybe it's just maybe it's just a fantasy right yes no I don't think so. now I don't know as much as the ER do definitely not I could probably sit there and talk to them for a month. Probably talk to them for a year and never know what they know. Because they're, they know a lot. But, uh, like I say, but it makes me think about a lot here. But, I will say one thing about this unity deal on this other stuff. To have fun with people, you don't have to be in a group. You don't have to... You can be with people, you don't have, but you don't have to be committed, you don't have to be controlled by people. I mean, uh, it's just not a good thing, guys. Not a good thing. But, uh, like I say, and then just like they said that, that Gina Marie did her video, said that, they, that she was some kind of, what did they do, what I tell you they said about her video? That I don't know, somebody was like, 
what you like, promoting or something, or you some kind of deal or something. The truthers are after. Truthers, tr uh, truthers, what? Now I'm gonna tell you something else. Some of the stuff she captures on those computers are correct. And that's all I'm gonna say about it for right now. Because I know that for sure. And they're wrong. And you can see them by what I'm saying. There ain't no doubt. But anyway, like I say. Anyway, guys, that's a pretty good walk. A little bit humid today. But uh, get a chance, get out and get a walk. And you know something else, one thing real quick we'll talk about. You notice everybody that talks and, and tries to tell the truth, that are really telling the truth, they're active. It don't matter if it's a leaked project. It don't matter if it's that Gina Marie. I mean, look at Paul Bigley. He's even, even with his illness, he's always going. Isn't that something? But then you got all these other people, and they're only looking for one thing, to try to pull people in and use their energy. Not a good idea, guys. Anyway, and for the people that are, that haven't been activated yet or anything else, think about it. Pick up some books. You don't have to be controlled in groups or anything else. Pick up some books and uh, read them about that. That's the best way to do it. So then you can choose yourself. Anyway, guys, have a good one.